Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Let Kyle Do Things, and here we are yet again with some more Bioshock. So, we're going to go ahead and you're going to see where I went back and I, I had to show you some of these glitches they were. <laughs> I don't know how the rivet gun gets in the side of the wall like that from the Big Daddy, but it, it, it did. I, I don't, I, I'm not for sure how. And then I also realized in the last video that I didn't go back and get the present that the little sisters and Tenenbaum left for me with Adam and some other things. So I went back and got some other tonics and plasmid stuff like that. And I'm like, how, how could I do that? And yes, that was another one of those instances where I had gone so far and I had to go back. <laughs> so I, I'm really trying to piece it together correctly, folks. <laughs> please bear, bear with me, please. And that's where, you know, I, I used so many trap bolts, apparently, so I, I had to pick up my stash there. And then I had this also on the way back before we continued with the main story. I, I, I found found that one just hanging out, the splicer running to the wall, you know, Scooby-Doo running in front of the wall for whatever reason. But now we're right back to the direction we're supposed to be going. You know, Apollo's, Apollo, a, a Apollo. Apollo Square, if we can speak today. If I enunciate, maybe I can do this. But, have we now? You know, all, all you all you say that, oh, there's a bunch of you right there just hanging out by the bonfire. And you you were trying to come after me too. I thought you were just, just sitting there. Thought you might have been a corpse, but nope, nope. Should have known better. Hey, hey. Easy. Easy now. Does it just mirror it sound like Big Daddy's just yawning like I'm so tired of this, like why do you keep putting me through this? And I know it's my job, but I gotta get more than just potato chips for this. Why do you keep doing it? By the way, if you hear me if you hear me, if you see me, press start real quick, and I didn't clip it out. It's honestly just me in game, making sure I save all the little sisters in that area. Again, I'm not going for completionist in this at all. It's just I wanted to make sure that I ended up. I wanted to make sure my mic was on for one, and I just really wanted to make sure that you know I got all of them in the area. I don't know if there's like a a special thing if I get them all, like a trophy, considering this is PS4, but we'll find out. Anybody? Hmm? Anybody? Nope. Anybody over here? Nope. Adam denies you an excuse. Mm, okay. Come here. Right, right in there. Just, just, right, stay right there. Right there. There we go. Trap set itself. Oh, you were trying. You and your little friend there. I, I know you got that special link going on. Oh. <laughs> Don't you hate when the burning trash can falls on you after you get set on fire by a plasmid? Don't you just hate when that happens? Anybody else? Well, that's a drop down there. That's it's kind of like the one I, I I came out of before. Don't want to go that way yet. We we don't. Again, you know you know me. I don't want to do the main thing. That must be Atlas. You know, that, that no one knows who Atlas is. It is a mystery. Which, you know, did did they question really who Atlas was? Like, did was there rumors that, you know, Fontaine has to be Atlas? Or... I bet you did. Fontaine's home for the poor. For I knew it, I was calling my 
yourself out with some leading an army. Ryan and his precious rapture. You don't have to build a city to make people worship you. Just make the chumps believe they're worth a nickel. And see, that's the other issue is... Ryan knew he he was a complete, complete control freak, complete, complete butt. Uh, that's the best way I can put it at right now while recording without crossing the line. But he knew he was full of himself. He was honest about it. Fontaine, on the other hand, sat there and went backhanded and said, Oh, you're in need? Let me help you by helping myself build this huge army to bring up this uprising that isn't going to do you a lick of good, but you're not doing anything else anyway except for trying to survive down here while I and the rest of everyone who's rich and powerful tries to take order over this place, right? Talk about using people to your advantage, just using people to begin with. Yes, Kyle got lost. That's, that's, that's all that proof right there. Oh, you got RPGs too. RPG turrets. My favorite. My favorite bestest of the turret and drone friends. I didn't do it. It, it wasn't me, Big Daddy. It wasn't me. <clears throat> There's a lot of you in here. Just put a bunch of you everywhere. Just, just for good measure. And I mean, if you notice, Fontaine even put in the Little Sisters Orphanage. And just to be that backhanded, not only to, you know, people like you and me that, you know, that that's speaking for like everybody that's like 16, 18 and up. Not only that, but you're also trying to take advantage of other children as well, not just children 16 to 18, but you're taking... You know, you're taking advantage of children that are like four and five and six that have lost their families and everything else. And here's me, in-game, trying to sit there and rescue these children who haven't done a thing in life except for be experimented on. I was getting too much into the game. <laughs> Perhaps you unlock a future for them that I cannot even imagine. A little one heads your way with a gift. Please be careful. By the way, that was the gift. The gift. Not the gift. The gift. You saw it earlier. Let's see, when I did two or three different playthroughs, and yes, it sometimes for me takes that many. It's not because it's difficult. It's not because it's even on noob mode and my noob skills are over 9,000. No, that's 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 not it at all. You, you, you are mistaken. What happens is I get so into the game to play it and find out more of the story, I might forget to record or I didn't realize, like during a gunfight normally or something big, when you're trying to pay attention to what's going on in the game, is when my recording will stop. So then, I have to go back, try and figure out from the last recording where it stopped, go back into an old save, which is normally an automatic save, redo everything, get all the other diaries again. <laughs> you see what I go through for these videos? <laughs> which, I'm sure every YouTuber goes through that. Or even if you, even if it's not YouTube, you, you know, how many times are you going to replay a game before it gets old? And I'm not saying Bioshock's old. Trust me. I, I, I love this. I, but if I, if I did this constantly, even more than, so than I do, then I'd be, I'd be very frustrated with myself yet again. Because <laughs> that's the thing, it's not even... I, I can't get mad at the game. It makes no sense to get frustrated at the game. The game didn't make your mistakes. <laughs> Well, my mistakes in this case, but the, it's not the game's fault. It's not the developer's fault or anything like that. It's you yourself went through the game 
didn't do what you were supposed to do or didn't hit the record button. And I think that's where people get it twisted sometimes. You know, it's like, oh, well, this, this game sucks because of this. It, it's not necessarily the game. It's the fact that you didn't do what you're supposed to do or you didn't choose that path. You know, a game that's supposed to have many different endings, which this is a game that has different endings. I don't know how many. I want to say at least three or four, but I, I could be wrong. There could be less. There could be more. I'm not what I what I would consider a super fan. I love Bioshock. I I don't I don't believe in knickknacks, so I, I don't really have a lot of like shelf stuff. I I have a very boring boring surroundings. Why why do you think I do green screen? I do the green screen because that's that's not what we're here for. We're here for the story and I rather you not just see a blue wall behind me. Now live streams, I can't help that. <laughs> that's that's just the way this program's set up. Um hi. How you doing? Whoa, easy. Easy. Take take it easy. I ran out of ammo in that one. Let's let's just use the old trusty wrench. Ryan, I heard that. You know, you're all about turning away from the light, and the only comment I can really say on that, without I guess stepping a line of opinion in one one way or another direction, is. You're all the way down here, at the bottom of the ocean. Did you really expect there to be a lot of light? And yes, there can be, you know, a bunch of people that will either comment or, or say, or private message, or whatever have you. That door's broke. And say, that's not what the splicer was talking about, Kyle. I know, trust me. But that's the only thing I am going to comment. Shoddy's locksmithing! But, you know, we learned last time over in uh, Dr. Shuchon's... Chuchon? Did I say that correctly? I don't think I'm saying that correctly. Dr. Sh Shuchon? Suton? I, I, I'm not so good with pronouncing things. You all know this. I, I, I'm i terrible at spelling, so I mean, you think I'm going to pronounce something correctly. I want to, trust me. But anyway, we learned in the last one that the super locked doors, you can't get in those. You know, because I could have used a wrench there, realizing this now. Oh look, there's just a hole that drops down to a lower level. Probably where we've already been before. Uh. Now, I remember, as soon as I dropped in, I, re I remembered this area very, very well. Because when I played it on 360, I I couldn't figure out how to get out. It took, it took me forever to figure out how to get out. And yet again, I couldn't remember. Do I get out? Yes, I do. Surprisingly. Anything over here? Anything? Anything? You just, you're just hanging out, getting some fresh air? Okay. We'll, we'll leave you right there. We're not going to bother you. And see, though, in-game, it's like, where do I go? What do I do? Like, I can squat, but but I can't I can't get out the window. Like, wh what do I need to do? Like, you go into half panic mode. And you're like, oh no, I didn't save. When was the last time I saved? What, how, how are we going to get out of here? And you start to in-game panic. Which it happens, trust me. Like, it's not even frustration. It's not anger. It's, again, you, you are... <laughs> you're kicking yourself because <laughs> you somehow did what the game wanted you to do, and I'm sure that was a developer's joke, like, we're gonna make this room so simple, but hard to get out of, and see, that's where I was getting desperate, it's like, shoot out the window, surely we can get out that way, shoot the rocks, maybe they'll collapse, and as you just saw there, you actually, what you do is, in case you play this and you don't know, or you've never been in that area, you jump up on the window seal, then you squat down, you go through the window, and you drop, like, one floor, that's what you do. So make sure you have a lot of health, because I, I think it takes a little bit of health away. But I could be mistaken, so I'm not 100% for sure on that. Come here! I saw you. Are y'all done? Anybody? Thought that was a spider splicer for a minute. 
Nope, see, there you are. I knew you were here somewhere. I, I, I knew it wasn't just me. Giant printing press. Oh, that's where you're making all the, the posters. That was a glitch out for a minute. Nope. No, 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 no. Where? Oh, the, ye, that was hidden very well. One drone. Two drone. See how many we have this time. We haven't counted drones in a little bit. Three. Four. How many else? Come on. Come on. Five. And six. I just, I was trying to, hi. Get right up in my face there. Yes, you're done. Today. <laughs> Well, this place looks a little ransacked. Hello. This is where telekinesis comes in hand. Oh, pfft. It's a shotgun through the bars. That'll work. Look at all this stuffs. I wonder if there's more or less stuff if you play on a hard mode. I know normally, normally on a hard or expert or even survivor type of mode, in most games, there, from what I know, there will be less. Oh, hi. I'm, I'm not taking anything. You see nothing. I mean, you don't like this Atlas guy anyway, right? So, I mean, what, what's it what's it to him if I take it, right? All this stuff's... I mean, it looks more like a cell, but it was actually just a, a barred safe. Oh, look, plans. This is... Atlas lives. All these little plans... That, w that went into making Fontaine into someone else. Hello? I heard somebody. I heard ya. Three little bears? What, what, what are we walking into here? Okay. Rolled mattress. Corpse mattress and the no mattress. Which one sounds better? We're getting close. We've almost done all the upgrades. See, that's why you go exploring, even though that little arrow. Even though that little arrow tells you something else, I didn't know what they're gonna say there, so I. Yep, you're just gonna sing. Okay. But, yeah. You almost blew your cover, dude. You almost got found out. <laughs> and where is this? Oh, we were already here. Okay. So that's the way you get out of that, I guess. Alright. Nobody else hiding around at all. Okay. Alright. We're we're gonna we're gonna head out, because um we've seen a lot of this and we're not exactly don't exactly feel Oh hi! How are you? That's that's because I, I I got into that safe, wasn't it? I, I don't know what tonic or plasmid gives you that skill. Maybe it's a splicer only thing, which I guess technically since I am a splicer too, because I mean I've messed with my genes as well, my my genetic workings and all that. But uh, yeah, since all all of you have sat there and done that, maybe it's only a thing for you to sit there and like bloodhound sniff out somebody oh oh I I, I smell them I smell them I hear them they, they got into that safe where we we gotta go we gotta go right now we gotta get the goods we gotta get them we gotta get their atom and we gotta get out of there ooh another diary Of upright. 
advising against Ryan. He sighed and said, I am not a liberator. Liberators do not exist. These people will liberate themselves. I thought Andrew Ryan was a great man. I was a fool. The only difference is, one was a con artist openly, <laughs> and the other one did it with a little more, um, how shall we say, pizzazz, and decided to go undercover. Also, did Fontaine go to the medical pavilion and get, like, plastic surgery done? Like, was that a thing? You broke the spell. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, sure did! Alrighty. Now see, this is what I was saying before. It started in 1946. I said this two or three videos ago. I don't know. Go go look at it. Or tell me down below in the comments if you know. But 1946, I believe when everything went to crap was... Was it... Yeah, I think it says 1959 on the posters. That's why everyone's wearing like the Mardi Gras looking masks for New Year's. And I, I, I'm trying to understand how much money and how much time. I mean, but, you know, in that years of span, you know, people had to, of course, have kids if they didn't already have kids. So as I was saying before, there's already, you know, some generations of people down here. And they, you know, they know nothing else. Like, they're not part of the, I guess, the original. Hi, you're just lounging, taking a nap. All right. But they're not part of the original group that first came in that, you know, knows what outside and what land is. Not all this underground nonsense. Ooh, more director stuff. I still don't know if I'm going to do a video on the director's commentary or not. I I honestly, I don't want to really talk through it. I might react to it where, you know, I have put it in the video like, you know, uh, Bioshock uh, remastered collection director's commentary reaction video or something like that in like double quotes. But other than that, I'm, I'm not really for sure. And if you're wondering what that jump cut was, I, I don't know how good it's going to look. I'm just going to be honest. I, I set the alarm wrong, and we, we almost woke up late. But we didn't. We didn't. And I know I don't normally keep these in the vid, but this time I am. And come to find out, I, I didn't set the alarm correctly before we went to sleep. But Elise wakes up early anyway. Long story short... Um, the alarm went off during the recording, so I had to get rid of it and do it again. See how honest I am? I'm I'm honest about all these real-world things that happen during recording. Oh, hi! Bring it, dude. Bring it. Open this door. You got like super Hulk strength. How do you get that? I'm going. Trust me. Trust me. I'm running. What? Where? Uh, where are you? I don't want. Ah! Explodey barrels. Use the phone. Use the phone. Call for backup. Anything? Hey, I know this is supposed to be like an intense rush scene, but you know what? I don't want to miss anything. You keep putting these doors up, I can't chase after you. I thought you wanted to fight man to man. Up on land, near a sub, with all the atoms. Wh what happened to that? I don't know whether to call you Atlas or Fontaine, because you're technically Fontaine, but you're also Atlas. That's so confusing. Well, 
Shy, you will let him get away. Oh, I need a moment for thinking. Sorry. Ah, but of course, this will be no problem. Find a big daddy on search spot. <laughs> I would suggest you to be finding a dead one. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did. Control system. So good. Yes. That is step one of turning you into one of those disgusting big deaths. Wait, what? The only way to get through that door Fontaine went through is to have a little one open it for you. I will only trust you if you look like, sound like, and even smell like one of those big stinking brutes. Okay, well, I'm I'm gonna break I, I'm gonna break the theory here for a minute. I have to apparently be a big daddy. I have to completely turn myself into one in order to get through a door that only a little sister can open. But, but, I would understand if I had not been saving them. If I was only harvesting any of them that I came across while playing, while getting rid of the other big daddy. But instead, in this playthrough, I've saved them. We already saw that they trusted me. Except for the one that I took the pep bar from. She she was like, hey, that's mine. Which I didn't know. I'm, I'm sorry. But if they already trust me, I don't... Why would I have to go through this process? Which, it's, it's great. Don't get me wrong. Great for story. But at the same time, it makes no sense. Sorry to break anything on that. I'm sorry to, to break anyone's theory or love. I mean, I, I love I love all this. I, I love you get to see how all this works. Trust me, I do. It's coming up, and we're we're gonna we're gonna go through it. Trust me. And yeah, I, I've played through this before, so I I somewhat remember this. But and you also got to remember again. And I know I keep referring this and keep mentioning this, but I don't I don't know who's gonna watch what video. You know, you might have heard me ramble on this nine times now you might have this might be your very first video maybe you didn't want to see all the other stuff I, I don't know how you watch YouTube videos I'm not gonna tell you how but with you know you, you either save them or you harvest them and you know when I played through the first time I, I did the same thing I, I I actually I did harvest one one little sister just see what it looked like. It was kind of freaky, kind of messed with me in a, in a in a small sense of in game, and I'm like, nah, nah, we're gonna redo that. And I tried to save them. And again, it's just the facts of if I can already go through that door because they trust me. <laughs> why would you do that? I, I don't get it. But yeah, when I played when I played through 360 the first time um when i got the games i got them through like amazon or ebay something like that and i ordered them used and i ordered one and two at the time i didn't i don't think three was quite out yet or three had just come out like six months the year before so everybody was playing that so then of course everyone's like oh i gotta dive back into bioshock totally understand that I said it right that time i keep saying biowatch sometimes you're just, just chill out in the library, you know. I wasn't making no noise. But I got the second one, Bioshock 2, in before I got Bioshock 1. So for me to dive into what Rapture turned into after this one first, and then playing this one second, the first Biowatch, I played it second, was more like, you know, when they decide in a movie series or a TV show series that they, they do the prequel episode or the prequel movie. You know, they'll get like... I don't know, they get two movies in or three movies in and the fourth or third one is normally like, oh, well, if you thought that was interesting, here's how it happened before that. Which I get it. There's people that want to know the background. I don't know. I'm sorry. I have. Already did that. I'm, I'm scouring the library for other things that people have just kind of scattered around it. Someone, I'm mad and you need to keep it down. This is a library. Sheesh. Can you not yell in the library? 
Why must you? I'm surprised there's not more... You know, there's got to be splicers that were like... You know, poets and... Like, head top, you know... Historians and things like that. That, you know, why else would the library be here? Besides for the general populace to come and rent books. I mean, there had to have been people that were, of course, super into it. No different than anything else. How, you know, there was people that were really dedicated to making some kind of trade like smokes or a trade like wine or honey or people like Ryan who wanted to charge for oxygen because apparently this is Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm here. I mean, what what else do I have to do? Hello. How you doing? You want to come a little closer? Oh. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, take care of you before you take care of me. I don't know where to go first. Hello. There's Patrick again. Just keeps following us. I'm telling you what. Well, I don't need this now. I'll leave it down there and kiss Nate later. Okay, that's the little sister place. Where they, they literally, you know, made them, I guess, is the best way to put it. Is there anything else on the other side of this hallway that we are in? That's a big fossil. Oh, hi. So there's somebody hiding. Alrighty. And my wallet is full again. Once again. Wasn't it in Cohen's office we saw a, a fossil like that up on the wall somewhere? In his little office room. Oh, come on, I have to use it three times. That that should have only been a one. I don't know if that was my fault or someone else's fault. Was that just my aim? I'm sure that was my aim. Because, as we know, that's not the developer's fault. <laughs> Well, Su Chong, I'm. I, I I don't think it was considering where we left you last video. You knew a lot about him, but you didn't want to do anything. Okay. Nope. No. 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 I waited too long. You know, again, apparently I'm supposed to have Andrew Ryan's DNA in me so that all the alarm systems can recognize me, yet they still go off? Why? I mean, maybe it can be chalked up to it's been reprogrammed to not recognize anymore. So if Ryan just took a stroll down here, which I don't see him doing, I see him staying up in his penthouse that he had, you know, why else would he have the giant electric lock before we went in and, you know, did, did all the obey and choosing, so to speak. Oh, hi. You just, well, you gonna come back in? Okay. <laughs> Let me just take care of that before you <laughs> close the door again. <laughs> you didn't see anything. <laughs> Is there anything... Diaries... 
or or ammo. I can't take Eve or money right now. There we go, there's some ammo. Again, I, I try and get everything that I can. I collected more coffee. You must be up there somewhere. Because I, I don't hear you anywhere else or see you anywhere else. I'll admit Fontaine showed some foresight when he built up the plasmid business. But the man really never understood sales. Hiding those little girls beneath the bushel. I've just seen the preliminary design work on the new plasmid machines. And they're exactly what I wanted. Mark my words. Presented properly. Those little sisters are marketing gold. Look around you, kid. You think two-bit heroics count for a fig in this pit? You're staring down the puke stain of Ryan's busted dream. You think there's something worth saving down here? Then you deserve to gargle with the rest of these scrubs. <laughs> I don't get, unless he was just trying to, you know, play coy under his Atlas appearance, under his alter ego, but, you know, he was the one originally saying, oh, Ryan's gonna, you know, blow it all up, you were just trying to temporarily shut it down and, you know, make his defense systems go down. You weren't trying to blow up Raptor, now he's going to. And then he threatens, oh, well, huh, huh, you, you don't you don't go with what I say? Well, I'm turning Raptor in, into a flipping fish tank there, dude. You, you better, you know, listen to what I say or else. Yay, more stuffs. I'll take steel tip bolts, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Another weapons upgrade over there. Hey, the last one. Coolness. Now we're all ready. All the way around. What's in here? Anything good? Anything good? Hmm? Okay, I took a little bit of that, but not a lot of it. But yeah, what what else am I doing if you know Ryan, as just openly admitted in that diary, which I don't know why you'd leave that just lying around, but you know otherwise we wouldn't have a story. And <laughs> I'm, I'm breaking that wall again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gotta hush again. If you knew that, then why did you do what you did earlier by trying to make the imprinting work and you found out on the wrong end of a giant drill through you that it, 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 it was exactly the way you said earlier? Why? why? <laughs> you know, for, for doctors and scientists, this, this makes no sense. <laughs> but why with... Ryan and Fontaine, just everybody here, you know, you're going to sit there and tell me that there wasn't one little thought of, of morals, of, hey, maybe we shouldn't be taking advantage of a kid's life just to make us richer. Come on. Fontaine was doing it, Ryan was doing it, and just because Ryan said, oh, I wasn't the only one, I wasn't the only one at fault, everybody else was holding their hand too, yeah, but you're just as to blame as the rest. 
That's just like Tenenbaum. Yes, Tenenbaum, as Fontaine has even said, grew a conscience. Okay, that's great. But that does not excuse prior actions from the war and everything else we've learned in this game. I, I'm, I'm happy that Tenenbaum is different and is actually having some form of a heart and trying to help the children and help maybe even others that aren't even explained in this. I'm sure there's a fan fiction somewhere about it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for helping me. Of course. But, oh, okay. I thought you were going through the door. But why else would there be a reason to sit there and not try and help like I'm doing? I mean, yeah, with everything our character has learned about their past and their, their upbringing and being double and triple and quadruple crossed at this point by everyone. All you can do is try and trust people. Honestly, it's no different than the real world. Uh, all you can do is go through and try and trust people to the most you can. I got nothing else to do. Stuffs. Stuffs is good. That doesn't look fun. To change my voice. I... See what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad that that didn't, like, that wasn't really graphic or gory or anything. It just spun in front of me. But realistically, if anyone watching this has played a certain other game that's, um, it's not, it's not Bioshock related, but it's more, I did it again, I made too many things. It's, it's not, um... Rapture that we're in, it, we're up in space actually, we're in the exact opposite of deep down in the ocean. There was a lot of you. Um, it's called Dead Space, and that, this was like the equivalent of that on, on a nicer scale, <laughs> as far as showing what it does to you. <laughs> Any of you Dead Space players out there? <laughs> remember a certain couple of scenes that I'm not going to go into on this video, but you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you're not, like, too squeamish or you, things don't really, you know, mess with you or, or bother you or affect you in any way, shape, or form, then by all means, go, go, look, go look them up. I saw you. Oh, there you are. You went the other direction. How did that work? Just run into the trap bolt. That's all I wanted. See, take some more and then leave. Oh, they're all... Wait. Did he run into all of them? He must have ran into all of them because I had like five right there. I don't know how that worked. Unless he seriously just like ran straight through him like I do, you know. <laughs> sure there's nothing- Oh, hi! You're just kind of hanging out? I, I should have set that on fire. Alright. More monies that I can't spend. Um, is that going to electrocute me? If I step in that? I, I feel like it's going to. But it doesn't. Is this is this supposed to be happening? I don't know if this is supposed to be happening. I, I feel I feel like this is a fluke. But I want the Eve. Give me more Eve. Ooh, what's in there? Anything good in there? Anything at all? Hmm. 
how do we get in you? Is there a diary in there? Well, there, there's... I don't see any little secret crawl spaces. Oh, hi! I don't want this to be... Hey! Easy! I can't take a picture of you! Alright, fire and water effect. But surely there's a way to get in. Somewhere. Maybe here? Oh. No, not telekinesis, not sonic blast or winter, not fire. There we go. That's how we get in here. Knew there had to be some way. Okay, ammo's good. All that's good. Get out of my way, chair. Okay. Temporary generator override. Door control use. I remember this was important somehow. It's because it's on easy mode, isn't it? Did I play normal last time? Or medium? What it, whatever it is? Is that why? Yeah, there... I think... I think there's something you have to get out of here or have to do. I could be wrong. I could have not... You know, there could be another turn of events if I would have made a different decision that I'd have to do it. But I, I remember you, you have to go in there, hit the lever, and you have to run out and get back in there in order to get that generator going. Or something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. I mean, it's just a little bit of... It's just a little piece of my memory. Why did the music change again? Why does the music keep changing? I've only saved one little sister here. Okay, so we, we've been all through there. Been there. And we still got those two places to go. Including those areas. Alright. Cool. Where else do we need to go? Anywhere else? No? Okay. Alright. Someone's getting frustrated. Someone's just not liking how things are going. Just hanging out. After Ryan takes this place, here is where they build their filthy scholars and Frankenstein. Find the pieces of this suit. Oh, hi. You're just hanging out too, huh? I don't think so. Take care of you right quick. You had glue on you. Thanks. Look at all these drones. Look at all of them. Alright, alright. Got, got some stuff. Might, might make some stuff. There's a lot of you here. Why is there so many? I might want to bring you out of your, I don't know, out of your resting state and come be my help. There we go. Got two of you now. Hello? Anybody else? Anybody? Let's go this way. Let's see what's in here. We'll leave them alone for right now. Anybody? Anything? Get, excuse me, drone. Excuse me. You, oh, hi! These turrets weren't even operational yet. You didn't see me. Couldn't be because of the tonic I have, you know, but... I got that one because I, I was definitely going to need it as many times as I run into a turret like that and it sees me before I realize it's a turret. Missing boots. So Ryan's not as good as you thought he was, hmm? Did 
Drone! Why, why, why? Why did you do that? I could have got through that. I could have shocked myself a little bit and healed, but no. You did that instead. See? Now there's only one of you. Anything else around here? I guess that, that was a hint if you didn't go explore the library. Like, hey, you need to go back and look. The boots are not here. <laughs> oh my. Nope. Nope. Took care of you. Sorry, drone. I got to him first. Where am I going now? Okay. Okay. Just so we're clear. Just so we know what direction to go. And we know what the world we're doing. Well, this looks like a fun room. You're just really pushing for me to give up. I, I think... I think you really know what's at stake. I think you really understand exactly why it's so bad that you have someone who was on your team, not that I had a choice in the matter, I guess, but now is going against you. Cool. Something tells me I'll need it. Yeah, I... I figured that out. Um, excuse me? Oh, hi! How are you doing? You just gonna hang up there? Well, I'm gonna bring you down to Earth for a minute. Alright. Took care of you. Who else? Who else? Anyone else? Yeah, that that's that's a dead one there, drone. That, that That's just corpse drone. We gotta find a helmet. Ooh, what's down here? Any, anything good? Oh, you got, found a hider in the water. How How are you holding your breath? I don't remember that being a tonic or a plasmid. Holding your breath for a long time. Why can't I go through that door? Is there anything behind that door? Oh, so many questions. Watch that be only accessible if you play hard or survival mode. You watch. You watch. I should say you go play because I'm not playing it. Look at all the mines and all the Eve I can't have and all the bullets and the arrows or the the bolts, excuse me. I, I said the wrong thing there. Can't take the liquid nitrogen. Can't take the napalm. Oh I took a little bit of the napalm. No, I can't carry any of it. Okay. Oh, okay, this this just... Oh, okay, this, this shows me the, the resistance, I see. Okay. Is there a special thing if I turn them all on? Do, do you have to hit them in sequence? I have no idea. But, hey, that's that's pretty cool that it, you know, that it lasts that, that well. But yet, when you're facing off against Big Daddies and you use Incinerate, for some reason, it works. Figure that one out. <laughs> I just... Oh, hi! I know. Gosh darn it. You're just walking along, trying to make sure the little sister is safe, and some jerk comes across and hits you in the head with a bolt. I mean, I just... I hate when that happens. Yet again. Like, are you not talking amongst each other? Like... This guy's alright. Th this guy's helping us out. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, again, they're supposed to... You know... They're, the big daddies are supposed to keep the little sisters safe. So that way they... You know, do the splicers just leave them alone? If they're not... You know all creeped out little sister looking I guess is the best way I could say 
I don't know how, how else to say that. You know, if they're all like cured, do they just leave them alone? Like, oh, that's that's just a that's just a regular human. That's that's not. There's no atom. I, I don't want that. Alrighty then. So even the doctor, who was still not making good decisions himself, still knew that th those those two weren't good. But that's all the time I have in this one. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Whether you love it, you hate it. We'll continue this and try and become a fully suited Big Daddy. And I'll say bye and see ya.